Hello everyone. Today I came up with a new new university's story. It has long history. Long long history. It's called Zhejiang Sci-Tech University. If we say the name in Chinese, it's Zhejiang Ligong Dashu. So it's located in Hangzhou. As we say previously, Hangzhou is one of the most beautiful city of China, which is historical and cultural. And it boosts a long history of schooling and covers a campus area over 140 hectares. And now Zhejiang Ligong Dashui have more campuses. Before they only have one campus which was located in Tianteng district. Now they have another campus only for fashion and design which is located in Lingping district. So this school have a long history along with this we can say which was previously called Silk School and it was founded 1897 by Lin Qi who was that time the governor of Hangzhou and with the ambition, noble ambition to save the nation by engaging in industry and education and it, is, it was one of the earliest new learning educational institute, institutions ever founded in China. In 1908, this Silk School was imperialistically promoted by the royal court of Qing Dynasty and the Advanced Academy of Sericulture and Mulberry Wing to its outstanding schooling achievements. The period of tar turmoil and chaos from the revolution until the founding of the new China, the People's Republic of China, and it has witnessed the changes. So the period of turmoil and chaos from the revolution of 1911 until the founding of the People's Rep Republic of China witnessed the changes of the names and locations of the institution for several times. However, no matter what hardship it underwent, it never gave up its commitment to schooling. After the founding of People's Republic of China in 1949, the academic institution kept forging ahead and grand new chapters of its history. And on 1959, it begins an enrollment of undergraduate candidates. In 1964, the State Council named it Zhejiang Silk Engineering College in 1979, and it has started to offer postgraduate programs and was authorized to confer a master degree for 1983. With the approval of Ministry of Education of China, it was named Zhejiang Engineering College in 1999, and Zhejiang Saitic University in 2004. And later on, in 2006, the SciTech University began to have the authority to control, uh, to confer doctoral degree programs. And in 2010, with the approval of Ministry of Education, Zhejiang SciTech University began to be qualified to recommend excellent fresh undergraduates to take master degree program free from examination. In 2017, Zhejiang Saitek University was listed among the Zhejiang Provincial Key Construction Higher Educational Institute. So, Zhejiang Saitek University affiliated with 17 institutions, teaching and research departments, and they have one independent college which has a population of over 26,000 full-time on-campus students, among whom 3,500 are graduate students. And there are several reasons why the students may choose to study in Zhejiang Ligong Tashui, Zhejiang Saitek University. One of the reasons is a strong focus on engineering and technology. They are really quite famous for engineering and technology. And the most famous in Zhejiang Saitek is about the textile engineering, fashion and technology. And they have a lot of they have collaboration with a lot of countries, with a lot of institutions which are developing in the garments industry and textile. So those students, uh, the students from those developing countries, they can apply for a scholarship here because of the collaboration, which is one who want to study in, and they have comprehensive academic programs. They have several programs like uh, mechanical engineering, civil engineering, um, textile engineering, fashion and technology, then MBA. So they have a lot of programs. And they have some modern facilities and infrastructure, such as they have several several campuses with really well-equipped laboratory. 
and those laboratory there are a lot of doctoral degree students which are doing their which are doing their research and development and they they are doing the innovation for the university for the country so for international cooperation and exchange we can say jj angligon ashoy have a lot of cooperation like they are currently recruiting a student from african countries the develop developing african countries such as kenya zimbabwe rwanda uganda ethiopia morocco egypt those countries of students are welcome here and the central asia if we can say uzbekistan kazakhstan there are a lot of students they are getting scholarships here the the students who have good academic result with the for their high school they can come here for bachelor degree who have good score in their bachelor degree they can apply for the scholarship for master degree and the student who pays here who pay the tuition fees is really affordable for them it's um, it's not a lot um, the student the foreign students can afford to pay here and the campus life yeah it has all the facilities they have really nice well organized stadium the sports ground and they have the like debate club and the entrepreneurship programs and if we say about the career opportunity the student who are uh, graduating from Saitek University they can go to several reputed institution uh, to the companies in Hangzhou Shanghai Yiwu several cities so mostly mostly they are uh, occupied with the garments garments industry the textile industry the Zhejiang Saitek University maintains a strong connection with industries and businesses in this region and providing st students with potential lead internship and job opportunities this connection can be valuable for the students seeking to establish their career after graduation so welcome guys to study and to develop your career with Zhejiang Science and Technology University thank you